What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and despite my current issues with Sony in regards to The Last of Us Part 2 and the Naughty Dog situation, I have always been someone who preferred PlayStation over Xbox almost religiously. I actually stream PlayStation 4 probably about three or four times a week on my Twitch channel, which you should check out if you haven't already. And I haven't turned my Xbox on in over a year for anything other than Netflix. But even myself, when I step back and look at what Xbox has done in the Xbox Series X versus the PlayStation 5, I have to admit that Xbox is kind of controlling the narrative right now. They've been ahead of the game. They have told everybody much more about what to expect. And they had this big opportunity today with the entire gaming world watching after everything that Sony's been going through, being embarrassed, have to turn off their comments, have to turn off the like-dislike ratio when it comes to The Last of Us Part 2. They had an opportunity. And what did they do? What did Xbox go and do? They went, they went and did exactly what I would normally expect Microsoft and Xbox to do. They had a big epic fail. Now this Xbox Series X gameplay presentation had everybody's eyes on it. Everyone really wanted to look forward to seeing the gameplay from some of these new games on a next gen console. The key is they wanted gameplay. What they don't want is more cinematics. But what did Xbox give us? They gave us more cinematics. Now, there was some games that did have some gameplay. Bright Memory Infinite being the one it led off with. And it started like that, and I was, like, blown away. I thought this was going to be awesome. We even, we even had this guy come and tell us exactly what we wanted to hear. And because we read the interwebs, everything you see here will highlight the in-game experience. With actual gameplay captured in-engine, to give you the best sense of what to expect when Xbox Series X launches later this year. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh my That's a lie. Oh and of course, that ended up not being true. And you can see the reaction. Now, until Assassin's Creed Valhalla came, because that's the biggest one that so many people were waiting for. They wanted to see the gameplay after seeing that really dope cinematic trailer, which is okay, whatever. You can make any game look cool in a cinematic trailer. We wanted to see the gameplay. And there wasn't any of it in Assassin's Creed. And after that, people had a reaction. So all the downvotes started coming in. They ended this stream before it could really get out of hand. So 40k to 33 downvotes, 33k downvotes. But you look at the repost of just the gameplay section. Look at that. It is ratioed on the Xbox official channel. Not a surprise. But at least one thing you got to say, at least they leave it up there so you can see it. Right, Sony? Sony did not do that. They went ahead and they uh, they disabled the like-dislike ratio on their recent The Last of Us vid. Very cowardly, in my opinion. At least Xbox kept it up, even if people didn't like it. But then Assassin's Creed is really, is really interesting. So many people, like myself, were anticipating the Assassin's Creed gameplay, and I'm showing you a little bit of what we got, and it's just more cinematics. Now, if you want to mix in these cinematic moments to go along with regular gameplay, that'd be fine. But show me. I want to know what this game is going to be about. And it's like these companies just cannot get it through their heads. Ubisoft cannot get it through their heads what gameplay means. They even had this guy come and say that. Come and tell us what we wanted to hear, that we wanted to see gameplay. And they don't show it. Now, that's not to say that in this over 25-minute thing, there wasn't some. There was some gameplay for some games. But there was also, like in the case of Assassin's Creed, complete cinematics. Now, it was captured in-game. That doesn't mean anything. We know we have cinematics in-game. We want to see actual gameplay. You know that that's not what that means. You can see the reaction here on Twitter from a lot of people. Uh, Nibble right here. Ubisoft has made like 5 million games at this point and still doesn't know what gameplay is. Uh, and then he says this, well, let's correct that. In-game visuals preview of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hashtag inside Xbox. And it's just so so typical of what we're, what we're dealing with right now in gaming is these corporations, they just don't care what you're saying. They don't care about the fan feedback. We know that, especially when it comes to Sony and everything that's happening with The Last of Us Part 2. This could have been a moment for Xbox to take advantage, and they decided not to. What an epic fail for them. Everybody is talking about this. With all that being said, I still think that Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I'm still going to be eagerly anticipating some actual gameplay, because you didn't give me anything. 
you're probably going to see a bunch of articles written by these absolutely trash games journalists saying, oh, gamers are so entitled. They felt like they were entitled to this and they didn't get it, so they bombarded it with downvotes. Yeah, they let their opinion be known. That's what you're supposed to do. And as corporations, they should be listening to the feedback. That doesn't mean that just me, just my voice is the only one that matters. But when you're looking at the grand scheme of things and you see the way most people have reacted to this, you have to take that in consideration. And you had to know. The reason you had to know this is because you promised gameplay. Ubisoft, look what you said. We'll be there. Tune in for our first hashtag Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay trailer. You tweeted this on April 30th. You told people after that cinematic when they said we'd really like to see some gameplay, you said to tune in to Inside Xbox. And everybody did. Everybody was there, ready to support you, ready to look at this. And you give us that crap. It's, it's, I guess it's not a surprise. Uh, even so, I was really disappointed. The fact that they cannot get it through their heads what gamers want. Um, and they will continue to just go along this road. This could have been the moment uh, Xbox, Microsoft had a big opportunity with everything that Sony has done wrong over the past couple months. I myself, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I do not know which next gen console I'm going to get. I'm typically someone who buys both. Uh, obviously, if my channel gets taken down uh, for false copyright strikes by Sony... Yeah, I won't be purchasing Sony. That's for damn sure. I won't be purchasing a PS5. Uh, however, if everything does get cleared up, I would like to buy a PlayStation. That's my preference. Uh, I don't care if it's going to be more expensive. I like most of the exclusive titles more with PlayStation. I've always liked PlayStation more. But if Xbox could do something to win me over, uh, right now would be a great opportunity. And they had an opportunity today and they missed it. And everyone's basically shitting on them, rightfully so. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. If you were tuned in, did you get what you wanted to see? Or were you left feeling really disappointed and a little pissed off that they wasted so much of your time by promising gameplay and barely giving you anything? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my backup channel as well. I will leave it in the pinned comments below in case this channel goes away. Ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.